Happy Monday and welcome back to another video training on Google AdWords basic training. This is part 5 of this series. It's being brought to you by Cash from datatechnologyllc.com. So let's get into it. Uh, about our company, we are Cash Data Consulting LLC. We are based in Dallas, Texas. We are experts in search engine optimization, Google AdWords, AdSense, and Analytics. Uh, currently, we, among other specials, we do have a $100 credit towards Google AdWords that you can uh, uh, use. Uh, this special is available only for the next 30 days, so feel free to contact us for that or any other information that you need at info at datatechnologyllc.com. So, that's just a little uh, promo about our company. As for us today's agenda, uh, before we jump into this, we will do a quick review from last time, but today we will be concentrating on billing tab that we have not looked at, and then we are going to look at a bunch of uh, cool features under the reports tab. We will look at change history, add preview, uh, option then the keyword tool that we have already covered but we'll uh, go over that again uh, traffic estimator Google Analytics will just uh, touch up a little bit on it uh, it's actually a pretty uh, complex um, tool so we may have to do another series on that and then finally we'll talk about conversion so uh, as for his billing tab, really, there's two other uh, two main options under it. One is the billing preferences. Uh, we will not show you this one, but uh, essentially, when you set up uh, Google AdWords, you will uh, fill in your credit card information. This will be the account that uh, Google will charge as it's displaying your ads. Uh, also, your you know your company address, and if you are trying to use one of the coupons I mentioned. Uh, this will be the place you will enter that uh, and then we will kind of go over billing summary uh, briefly so enough uh, talk and let's jump to some action so I am currently logged into my Google AdWords I will uh, we've been mostly concentrating on the campaigns tool I will jump to billing and then I will select billing summary now what this one does is it basically this is a reporting uh, think of it as a reporting tool it really t tells you what kind of activity are you uh, getting from your ads and also it tells you your uh, balance R right now our balance is twenty four dollars sixty nine cents uh, you can see uh, you know on this last campaign that we've been running from May 1 through May 31 we had uh, a uh, few clicks it basically sums up all the charges you can actually count the clicks here so it looks like we have 5 and 10 16 clicks uh, last month and then obviously you know this month we are getting a few more clicks as as we have been tweaking our uh, campaign ad that we have been showing you through uh, through the video series so uh, a little bit of information here uh, on uh, on your billing and uh, this updates pretty much daily. If you do uh, select one of these, it will essentially take you to another tab uh, with not a whole lot of information, but tells you that, you know, which campaign are you running. Uh, these, this is essentially the cost. Our our cost per day is set at nine dollars, but that's the average. So if I let's let me go back to this, you will notice that you know some days it's less than nine. Uh, you know, we just had one click this one particular day. So, this, so the average that we have set up for this campaign is nine dollars, but it will uh, sort of like go up and down and adjust as it needs to. So that is pretty much what we wanted to mention about the billing tab. Moving on to the next important information, which is on it, its title is reports, reports, reports. So this is a really uh, cool area in Google AdWords. Lots of information in here. We will uh, essentially try to uh, cover. I apologize. I had to take a phone call, so I had to pause the video. But I'm back. Uh, like I was mentioning, uh, lots of lots of reports in here, and we will uh, try to get to uh, you know a lot of these today. And um, I believe uh, we'll have one more session and we'll just wrap things up in, in, in that session. So let's go ahead and uh, go down this list. We are gonna going to look at change history. Uh, this is nice because as you're adding and changing features in Google AdWords, this will sort of track that. Uh, it's almost like a you know source control uh, kind of. 
uh, you know where you can kind of see okay what did I do on a particular day uh, the next one is add preview this is nice uh, to uh, you know you can put in a keyword and see if your ad is showing and how does it look we will look at the keyword tool that like I mentioned we've already looked at but we'll go over that we'll look at traffic estimator which lets you enter essentially the keywords and see what kind of uh, traffic you should get that day Google Analytics powerful tool we'll briefly touch on that uh, on this topic and then finally we'll talk about conversion uh, which is uh, important if you are trying to uh, essentially sell products or services and you need some kind of verification to see well is this really working or is it just a lot of BS so let me switch to uh, essentially AdWords again we went over the billing now we're going to go to reporting tools it's uh, most of the stuff before I do that in fact let me uh, let me go back to campaigns and there were uh, just a few things I want to sort of recap and hash out um, we have had uh, a few uh, a little bit more activity uh, under the keywords so let me just spend a couple of minutes in here um, as you can see I'm sorting by clicks and then uh, you know so if you have had more let me switch this to our selected campaign because we got some old stuff in here but anyway so we have had more clicks definitely getting uh, you know more CTR in here and then uh, you know we have had another conversion uh, right here by the way um, you know for this keyword which is SQL server 2008 video so if you remember this was uh, one of the keywords that we had added a few days back manually uh, you know one of them is here and then uh, I believe you know the tool had suggested that we do that so um, definitely keep that in mind that you know once you have your initial list of keywords play around with it and see if you can um, you know maybe modify that and another thing I like about this conversion is that you know the first page bid is only 125 so this is a lot lower than uh, some of the other pages that we have been uh, uh, working with what I'm going to do actually do is um, create a filter in here and try to get rid of some of the other keywords that are not performing so I'm going to go to filter create filter let's expand this option here we already have one one item selected I'm going to add another and let me go with the um, item as clicks equal to zero what that means basically is that we are trying to get rid of any of the keywords that um, you know are not getting any action so I'm going to go ahead and, and you can save this filter if you wanted to I'm simply going to go ahead and apply this okay uh, so these are all the keywords that I have had no action uh, so far okay so what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of them so I will click here on the top okay and then uh, pretty much change the status to delete and it says oh you want to get rid of this I'll be like go for it man make my day okay uh, so that's done now if I go back to my campaigns and then I do my keywords let me have to uh, take that other filter out <coughs> okay so now really I'm down to the keywords that are actually performing okay this so this will kind of uh, you know clean the clutter if you will and then uh, if, if you even wanted to go a step further uh, maybe I would even get rid of uh, you know some of the ones that are not showing up uh, that Google doesn't think are that important so you know maybe some of these ones or you could get rid of some of these high ones that are hardly ever shown but I just wanted to mention that uh, real briefly so now we can go back to uh, the billing I'm sorry not the billing the reporting and tools and we will go to the change history which again like I mentioned this is going to go ahead and track any of the changes that uh, you know you have done on your account I'm not going to go ahead and spend a whole lot of time here but uh, nevertheless wanted to show you um, the changes that uh, it will load up so notice that uh, you know today is June 6 2011 uh, right about 150 um, it actually 
went ahead and uh, included that as well the one we just did we deleted 29 keywords uh, it goes back in time it tells you uh, you know what what uh, you know what have you been doing um, notice that we have uh, you know we have made quite a few changes in fact we had changed our CPC from 3 to 2 and you can even uh, go a step further and you know if you wanted to see well what was added okay so on May 27 17 keywords were added so let's go ahead and select those and so here's what all was added to our campaign so a nice little tool to have definitely will give you uh, more information you know as you're playing around with your campaigns and trying to change things uh, you definitely want to keep this feature in mind and then uh, that's all I wanted to talk about this one moving on to the conversion actually we'll come back to the conversion in a little bit I'm going to go ahead and talk about the keyword tool or actually uh, I'm sorry the ad preview so let me switch back to uh, this one again <coughs> so I will go back to reporting and I will go to ad preview and it's certainly possible that my ads may have been stopped already but let me see I think uh, SQL 2008 tutorial is one of them I know for sure okay so uh, again like I said it says your ads are showing no your ad is not showing we are only showing because of your budget okay so I think my my budget is already uh, reached its uh, limit if you will but uh, this is again on the bottom is showing you how Google looks like you can obviously do this on Google but uh, if you wanted to test things out you could definitely do that so that is uh, this tool is called the ad preview and diagnosis and again you can uh, there's other options you can try in here uh, language and whatnot you could search for other countries different languages maybe but uh, so that is that then let's move on to the keyword tool and I believe this is yeah so this is what we have already we have already looked at this one but uh, needless to say this is high, highly important tool so again if you don't remember or you have not seen our other video session uh, essentially what you can do there are two things you can do in here you can put in a keyword so SQL Server is one of the tools we look at or we've been uh, working with essentially or um, another one is SQL 2008 server training let's say those are our two keywords I can go ahead and hit search what this is going to do is it's not only going to tell you how many times these terms are being thank you for watching the sample video